tutorial, I'm gonna use mesh primitives because it's easier to reshape and mold the overall form of the objects. And you can find the mesh tab along the home tab inside the ribbon. It's over here. So this one, but first I'm gonna bring this drawing to front view and work on parallel projection. So click this drop down arrow and select parallel. And make sure to turn on your ortho mode dynamic input object snap tracking and object snap and i'm gonna turn off the grid and change this to wireframe all right so mesh select mesh box specify first corner you can click anywhere on the screen and enter 18 inches so 18 by 18 so just press comma and enter 18 enter and for the thickness so press the shift key and the wheel of your mouse at the same time to turn this around and for the thickness enter 4.7 and enter as shown here so this is the thickness and this is the width all right now I'm gonna manipulate the mesh box so inside the selection here Click this drop down arrow and select vertex and click this um, point here and move towards that direction for about again maybe move from that corner and snap that uh, in point and again move I'm gonna use this one as base point and snap that in point I'm gonna use x-ray here it's easier there you go and then um, again vertex these two points move from in point to this uh, in point move and snap that vertex and then for the bottom, you can use vertex again. Move this one and this this uh, vertex or vertices move from in point. I'm just gonna use that as base point. I'm gonna check, change this to conceptual, and let's see and smooth more. So inside mesh, select smooth more. Click the object, right click to smoothen more, or select, I'll uh, go to the ribbon. Smooth more. I'm gonna change this to x ray, and I'm gonna bring this forward, this sub point here. So click this drop down arrow and select vertex. Click this point here and this point and maybe this point here and move forward so click anywhere on the screen for this point so this is like trial and error and again um, vertex move let me check I'm gonna try realistic it looks good I think it's good for the back this one is protruding a bit maybe adjust all right x-ray I'm gonna move this vertex a little bit over there there I think that's better okay uh, realistic 
and I think the first part is done so thanks for watching uh, please uh, click that um, bell icon to, to get notified for the next tutorial next one would be the seat that I'm gonna do and uh, continue on the other parts and thanks for watching